The month of June is a stressful time for students graduating in China. It's time to get a job. That's gotten a lot more difficult lately, not only here, but even more so in some European countries. In Denmark, around a third of students have been unable to find work for a year after leaving university. Lifestyles caught up with two young graduates from Copenhagen who refused to lose hope. Graduation ceremony is a long-lasting memory for young people, but soon after final exams, reality sets in, and it can be quite different from one's dreams. Since I was a little girl, I always dreamt about working in public administration, as weird as it sounds. Um, so I took the education with the hopes of becoming a, a, a government official one day. But six months later, Sarah is still sending out her resume and getting no response. Sometimes it's 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 not that nice knowing that nobody wants to hire you, and you you start thinking about are you not good enough, or have you not done anything that you could, or something like that. But most days I'm I'm hopeful, and I I still believe that I can get a job at some point in the near future. In, in the beginning, you feel okay, that's expected, but after a while, you start getting tired and uh, depressed and uh, at the end you feel you f just just uh, uh, give up and, uh, and and then you feel that you're you're not part of uh, of the community part of society part of yeah of anything basically you you're, you're just left aside which is not very good for me and not very good for the society the union for academics in law and economics or djof try their best to support the new graduates and give them the best possible conditions for getting one of those coveted jobs. But with the financial crisis causing public budget cuts, it's become much more difficult to help. We have a labor market system based on tradition, and we are trying to optimize it and to to develop new tools, for instance, visiting small companies, prepare people for small companies. They don't do that very much today. Well, it does make me think that maybe I should try to look elsewhere, to look in the private sector. Um, and I've actually started a process now where my strategy is to, to look outside the public sector because I know it's, it's difficult to get to get in the public sector, but um, I still want to maintain the idea that that could be a career for me one day. But um, you have to do things differently than expected. Around 30 percent of the union's youngest members are unemployed, and different measures are taken to help these people. The DJOF offers training courses for them and offers simulated job interviews. Uh, if they can't find a job, uh, we try to help them uh, uh, through uh, courses, through um, uh, seeking up uh, companies. Uh, they have the opportunity to get job training. It's a question of finding your road to that job because I've always focused on something else, so I have to change my mindset and I believe it's possible but it's a it's a process for me um, but I'm not ruling anything out at all um, so yeah, that's my attitude towards job hunting as new graduates it's hard for them to contemplate taking a job outside of their fields and even if they are willing to settle for second best employers often has it to hire people with more education than needed well it's a process too. You start up saying, no way, it's not going to happen. I am educated political scientist. I'm going to deal with political science, work with political science. But after a while, you start, okay, maybe I should lower the, uh, <laughs> the expectations. And uh, in the end, I felt like, okay, anything. I'll do anything, basically. But the situation is that uh, I could uh, do what... Uh, What's, uh, work in a cash register in a, in a, in a supermarket. So I went to a supermarket, gave them my application. They said, listen up, we have 10 people standing in line. 
nine of them would like to have this job. We know you don't want to have this job. We know the first chance you get, you will run. <laughs> so, um, beyond my field, I don't have much of a chance. That's my expectation, uh, my uh, experience at least. Danish society offers an employment allowance for up to two years, worth around 2,500 US dollars a month, enough to live, but far from what the graduates think they are worth on the market. I get an amount from the government each month, and and it, I can pay my bills, and I can go have coffee with my girlfriend sometimes, and but it's not a luxury life, but I get by, so it's okay. Though the economy is slowly improving, it will still take a few years before the job situation recovers. For the young and unemployed, there's nothing to do but keep searching. Hannibal, who has a master in political science, got a six-month position at the University of Copenhagen, which gives him hope, though it's a rather short period for working experience. I'm studying at the University of Copenhagen as what you call head of section, um, um, and. Doing all sort of administrative administrative work and uh, 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 meeting international students, helping them, and that feels, you know, it's a whole new life. I feel like I've been included again. Uh, it's it's kind of a surreal experience because uh, it's it still hasn't, um, you know, the news is all just less than one week old. So uh, for me, it's I still have to, you know. Adapt to a new life,、uh, but I'm thrilled about it. I'm so happy about it, really.